Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome in if you're new. Today I'm going to be taking you through this look right here. I have a berry toned eye and a nice warm lip for this fall. And fall is my favorite season, so I am really excited to share this with you and hopefully it inspires you to dig into your makeup collection and see what you have that'll be good for this new season. We are going to go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow first this week. So I went ahead and did my brows and concealer off camera beforehand. So for my brows, I used the Essence Brow Designer in Blonde. And for concealer, I put on the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Light, just right here underneath of my eyes, as well as on my eyelids, because I'm going to use that as a primer for a new eyeshadow palette I'm testing out. So when I was thinking about the tones that I wanted to use for this fall look, I immediately thought of berry tone eyeshadow. I love a good bronze or smoky look in the fall as well, but something about a berry toned shadow just really, really gets me excited about fall weather and it bleeds nicely into winter looks as well. So it's a staple in my makeup collection. And for the past few years, I have been using this Milani Pure Passion eyeshadow palette. It just has some of these uh, more rosy tones down in the bottom and you get a nice matte pink here as well. Editing Morgan here, I never really got around to my point with that Milani palette and I just wanted to clear that up. Uh, I was just trying to say that it's a great palette with similar colors to the one I'm gonna use in this video. So it's a great alternative. But recently, I picked up the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadow in the shade Berry Bad, and I thought today would be a good chance to kind of test out this eyeshadow and get a nice berry uh, mauve toned look going for this fall eyeshadow today. To get started here, I'm just going to go into this lightest shade and blend that all through my crease. And now that I've got that crease built up a little bit, I'm gonna go into this darkest matte shade here at the end and add that to the outer corner of my eye to start adding kind of that definition for a more fall look. So I start here on the edge of my eye and I just pull in on an angle about to halfway through my eyelid. And then I pull up into my crease as well. And then I'm gonna switch back to that brush that I was using for my first matte shadow. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of blend the edges of those two shades together in this outer corner here. I'm gonna go in with one of these two shimmer shades and I think I'm more drawn to this more uh, purpley toned one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that just kind of on the middle of my eyelid with my finger. I'm gonna see if I can build that up a little more with one more layer. So I'm pretty happy with that color on my eyes, but I'm gonna go ahead and also add a little pop to my inner corner right now. And for that, I'm just going to use my highlighter for the day, which I'll get to later. And I'm just gonna take that highlighter on a really small brush and just add it to the corner and kind of blend it in to that more purpley shade that I just used all over my lid. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my inner corner as well, even though it's a pretty subtle highlight, so you won't see a huge difference here. All right, and now that I've added that inner corner shade, I'm gonna go back and I'm actually gonna go into the slightest shade again on that first brush I used, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna use that to kind of blend around all of the edges here to smoke out that look a little more and give it a little bit more of a fall feeling. After blending that out, I do feel like I lost quite a bit of that deeper color in my outer corner. So again, I'm just gonna go back in and add that back. 
Okay, I'm fairly happy with that look. I will say that uh, recently I used another one of these e.l.f. Bite Size Shadows in the shade Pumpkin Pie in my first video on my channel, and I'll link that down below. And I was extremely, extremely impressed with the shadows in that quad. I do feel like this one is a little bit more lackluster. Uh, the shimmer just isn't quite showing up, maybe as shimmery as I had hoped. I would almost call this more of a satin. So that's just something to be aware of. It doesn't make the shadow bad, it's just different than I had anticipated after using that pumpkin pie shadow with a really foiled shimmer. All right, and while I was off uh, catching this eye up, I went ahead and added mascara as well. So I use the Kush High Volume Mascara. If you're curious about my thoughts about this mascara, as well as a bunch of other milk makeup products, I just recorded a video reviewing some of them. So I'll add that to the links down below as well, just in case you're curious. And because I do have my concealer done already, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyeshadow on this lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back into that first shade that we used. I'm just going to pinch my brush so it's nice and flat. And then I'm gonna run that underneath of my eye. And you can see that makes such a big difference. So here it is without that one shade, and here it is with that shade added. And I think that makes such a huge difference, especially when you do have darker outer corner colors. It just really ties the whole thing together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side as well, and then I'll be back. And the eyes are finished. So I have to say I was a little skeptical of this eyeshadow palette uh, as I kind of put on that shimmer shade and wasn't wowed by it like I was with the other e.l.f. shadow. But up close, this eyeshadow looks amazing. I'll insert a photo here just because I think I'll be able to get better lighting in a different part of my house for you to be able to see kind of how soft and satin that looks. But it is really stunning and it blended out like a dream. So all things considered, if I hadn't had that expectation of a super foiled shimmer, I think I would have loved this palette right off the bat. My skin has been feeling a little blah lately and I want it to look really radiant for this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the L'Oreal Visible Lift Primer and I have it in the shade 802 Rose. I like to just take a little bit in my fingers and then I just put it all over my face. And for my foundation today, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin and I'm in shade 3.5. I just pump a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And today I'm gonna to use a sponge with this. So I dip my sponge into the back and I just dot it all across my face before blending it in. So I do need one more pump of this foundation today. And I did just wanna say that the reason I'm using a sponge, a damp sponge with it today is because I really want a light layer of coverage so that that shine that I just added with the primer will show through. So if you have a heavier foundation or a matte foundation that you've never been thrilled with because it's just a little too high coverage for you, I'd recommend trying it with a damp sponge and it might sheer it out just enough for you to enjoy it again. So you can see I still have that nice glow from the layer underneath. And then wrapping up the complexion today, I am going to be using actually a foundation as my bronzer. So I just have a couple shades darker than my own skin tone in this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Foundation Stick. So mine's in the shade Cocoa 115. And I'm just gonna use this as a cream bronzer today. So you can see it's a nice shade for my skin tone. And again, I am using a cream bronzer today to kind of stick with this theme I've got going of wanting a little bit more of a glam eye, but wanting my skin to look really radiant and glowing and not quite like it's as dry as it actually is. I'm using the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love for my cheeks because it's just a nice neutral kind of rosy tone and I think it'll look really nice with this eye look without being too much. And I'm bringing this color up on my temples just a little more than I normally would, just to tie it in with that eyeshadow color because it really does match nicely. And for highlighter today, I'm using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. 
I love this. It's just a natural highlight and it'll just make your skin glow. For my lip products today, I'm going to be using one of my favorite combos for when I want that very fall looking lip, but I don't necessarily want like a maroon or a red or something too dark. So my first step here is going to be the NYX lip liner in nude pink. And then I follow that up with the Lipstick Queen Saint Nude lipstick and this is a fairly warm tone lipstick and that's why I put a cool tone pink lip liner underneath just to kind of balance it out slightly. This is the final look. I really love how it turned out. I think that the lip and the cheek and the eye combo really goes together well and really screams fall without being anything too over the top or too dramatic. And I just cannot wait to get further into the season and really get going with some more looks like this one. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and I would appreciate it so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.